Hey friends, welcome back to Charisma Simple Living. On episode three of Fall in Love with Autumn, we're gonna create this wonderful fall pumpkin harvest fireplace cover. You are going to need some of these pumpkins from the dollar spot in Target. I love these pumpkins. They cost $3 at the dollar spot, as you can see here. And I love the sticker that says Hocus Pocus. It really gets you in the harvest Halloween-y spirit. They come in different colors, white, this multicolored one, and also orange as well. And what's great about these pumpkins is you could actually hang it up. You will need some of these fall leaves, the burlap ones from the Dollar Tree, also some flowers of your choice. And I love these flowers. I love the warm, the orange, rusty red. They're just perfect for fall time and I love them. You could also see here, Barbara Streisand wants to be a part of this whole little DIY episode. So now without further ado, let's get started with this one. You will also need a canvas from Michaels. They sometimes sell some canvases, two in a pack, as I bought this one. It was about five to six dollars. And if you also have military discounts, or if you find a discount online, you can use that, which will make it even cheaper. I'm going to add this pumpkin to the canvas by making a small hole in the canvas. And I'm sorry if you guys are dreading this right now, just know it's gonna be perfect and you will see exactly how I do this in just a moment. So I have some twine here. I'm going to take a piece of it, and you can get this twine from Walmart, Dollar Tree, put it right through the little hook part in the back, and with the scissor, I'm going to create a small hole into the canvas by pushing the twine into the hole through the canvas, which you will see right now. One, two, three, and here we go. Yep, and you just get the twine out from the hole, and from here you are going to use some hot glue, see how tight that is? That way it will actually stay on to the canvas with the hot glue and also be more sturdy because you're looking for very sturdy in this. So make sure just to keep it as long as you want to. And from here, you're gonna put a very generous amount of hot glue. And I'm going to use a piece of paper, like a cardboard piece of paper, and I'm going to use it as a tape sort of, <laughs> to hold the string in the back. That way it has some kind of a holding spot there. As you can see, that way it does not move. And I'm able to press it easily without touching the hot glue because believe me, that would burn like heck. Now that it is very secured at the top, I'm just gonna add some hot glue at the bottom and this will keep it from not moving, which is exactly what you want because you do not want moving pumpkins. You just want it to be pretty much in place. And with that top part there, it is completely secure. Do the same thing with the second pumpkin. And I kind of want it in a tilt overlapping the first pumpkin. That way it has that kind of unique look to it. But this is so simple and it really is gonna turn out perfectly. You can keep it like this if you want to. Otherwise, I'm gonna add to it, which I'm gonna do right now. But I love how it looks and it is super sturdy. Now we're gonna add the burlap leaves to the canvas. And I am gonna go with these three colors, the orange, the kind of olivey green, and the burlap, normal beige burlap color. I'm going to kind of do a lasagna feel here to it. I'm gonna do the orange, the burlap color, and the darker burlap. So just going almost into a kind of a rainbow effect here and creating a really beautiful fall outline for this. Thank you. 
and look how this turned out so perfect you can either keep it this way but I definitely want to add some floral on the edge over here at the corner and that's where this beautiful bouquet comes into play Before I add the flowers, I'm going to take one of the leaves, cut them up, and just hot glue them to the white pumpkin at the top here, giving it its own little uniqueness. And once you do that, add your flowers to the corner of the pumpkins and place them where you want to. Add a leaf or two and there you go. It's beautiful. I definitely think if you want to, you can keep it this way, but I would really suggest to paint the um, back if you want to so that way the pumpkins really come out more. I'm going to add these little um, signs that they have at the Dollar Tree, they usually come with, you know, the welcome sign or harvest or thankful. I'm definitely going to add welcome and then on one pumpkin and then on the other pumpkin put harvest. That way they own, ha they have their own uniqueness and it really gives that look I'm looking for for the fall. So my darling friends, there you have it. I decided to paint the canvas <laughs> while I had everything else on here. Yes, that was next time. Definitely, I would suggest if you wanna paint it, which really brings out the pumpkins and gives it that really fall look that I can see why I did it because I'm looking for that. Um, it really gives it that perfect look and it makes it harder to do while <laughs> it's already all fixed up, but I did it and it turned out perfectly. So I would definitely say do this before you put all of your beautiful ideas onto your canvas. But it turned out beautiful. It really is what I'm looking forward to put in front of my fireplace. It's just the most perfect um, DIY I've done this harvest season and I love this episode three of fall in love with autumn because it really turned out exactly the way I wanted it to and I really am in love with this so I hope you guys have a fantastic beginning of the week and I really hope that you have so many blessings um, coming your way and remember life is a blessing we are we, we are all blessings and I love you all so much. Enjoy your week, friends, and I hope you love this DIY. Please give it a thumbs up. Um, remember to subscribe, share this video, and let's make our Charisma family even bigger. From my family to yours, have a great week. Bye.